Hi everyone, my name's Karen and welcome to Myths and Truths, the new series of straight-talking, taboo-tackling videos from the Eve Appeal, the UK's leading gynae cancer charity. Our first mini-collection in this series is the Myths and Truths about Cervical Cancer Prevention and I'm joined by Adiola Olaitan, gynaecologist and trustee of the Eve Appeal. So what can you tell us kind of about the pain associated or the fear around smear tests? Well, in a nutshell, smear tests are not painful. They can be uncomfortable, but they only take a very short time. So it takes an average about 10 minutes to have a smear test done. It may help if I show some of the equipment that we use for smear tests. Please do. Because what you do during a smear test is expose the cervix, which is at the top of the vagina. So with a little instrument like this or similar, you part the vaginal wall. And what's this called? This is called a speculum. Yeah. And all it does is give you vision of the surface. It's often very well lubricated and it causes no pain. And then with a very soft brush, cells are taken off the cervix. Um, I often say to women, if you're worried about it or scared, tell whoever's taken the smear, because there are a lot of tricks they can do to make it as comfortable as possible mm. for you. I've had somebody come in and say, I'm really worried about my smear test because I've got vaginismus and I can't even feel comfortable using a tampon. What would we do in that situation for this lady? Well, that's slightly different because vaginismus is a a medical condition Mm. and people physically cannot relax. Um, One of the things that GPs often do is refer the patient to specialist care so they would come and see somebody like me Mm -hmm. and maybe a bit of sedation Mm -hmm. might help. Coming very soon, but not quite there yet, is self-testing. And if a woman can self-test, then most people can manage it. And Mm. I think that the plan is to introduce it. There's been a pilot, and I think the plan is to introduce it either later this year or in the future. So that might help people. So there are ways around it. Indeed. There are very few people who absolutely cannot have a smear. Uh, Somebody's asked, what age do I need to start going for my smear? Um, I'm 20 at the moment. Do I need to book a test? No, the screening starts at the age of 25. So, And you don't need to do anything because you will get a letter on or around your 25th birthday inviting you to make an appointment. And somebody has messaged, why do they start at 25? Because people get cervical cancer under 25. What okay. do we say to this sort of thing? It's a good question. It's often raised. So first thing is to understand what a smear is. A smear is not a cancer test. Mm. It's a screening test to protect women from mm-hmm. cancer. Um, Screening under the age of 25 probably leads to more harm than good, which is why we don't do it. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that women should not be... Women should be aware of symptoms. And anything like bleeding after sex, bleeding between periods, an offensive discharge, report it to your GP. You probably will not have cancer, but it's important that cancer is excluded. Criteria for smear tests. So once somebody or the cervix reaches 25, do they have to go for a smear test? Nobody has to go for a smear test. Can't drag you in. No, No. absolutely. (laughs) But it is important that people are aware of why we recommend smear tests. People who have regular smears are very unlikely to get cancer. Mm somebody's written in that do women who only have sex with women need to have smear tests? I think there's sometimes a mystery that gay women don't need to be tested. No, absolutely everybody who's been sexually active needs to be tested. What do I do? I've been ignoring my letter. Well, that I don't recommend. No? I think if you're get a letter, respond to it. Mm. If you're worried or concerned about having a smear test, talk to your GP about Mm. it. But smears generally protect women and are a good thing. I think it's estimated that having smears saves about 5,000 lives a year. And so if somebody's been ignoring their letter for a year or so, just call your GP practice and book yourself in. It, It doesn't matter if you're late, they'll obviously still test you. Absolutely.